Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to City Skylines. Where last time, we completely terraformed this entire mountain, and now we're in the process of making it into one giant university campus area. Because the new campus DLC just came out. So we're gonna continue working on this again today. However, we kinda have a one slight problem. Literally everyone is dying and the city is on the brink of collapse. And we're also losing like $100,000 a week. So before we can focus on the campus stuff again, first we need to kinda save the city because we can't have a very good campus if um, everybody's dead. So number one in problem solving here is we need to shut down expensive buildings. We need to save money, because once we go bankrupt, that's when the city truly dies. So uh, wherever there's an expensive building, we gotta turn it off. Uh, the Crystal Palace, how much does this run us for? 6,000, we have to have this running though, because it raises the land value. Uh, this can be turned off right now. You are shut down, you are shut down. And a competing university? Oh, you are just not even gonna be here, dude. Now as for our city of dead people, there are two ways to go about this. Number one is I just try and build enough um, medical things. What are they? Crematoriums so we can just burn all the bodies as fast as possible. And that can work, but it's quite an expensive option. And then the other option is we just start deleting buildings. And honestly, I think that's the play. All right, so I got pretty much every dead person in the city here. As you can see, it's been uh, devastating, absolutely devastating. Our population's gonna crash like 10 to 20,000. Our economy is gonna get significantly worse. Like we're gonna probably go negative 200,000 a week or something like that. It's gonna be awful once I unpause, but we should survive. Like, as long as we don't burn through our $8 million, we should be okay. And I'm, I'm kind of gambling that that's enough of a buffer to keep us afloat. Like, that's a, not, yeah, that's a lot of money, man. A lot, a lot of money. All right, though. All of the city is destroyed. All of the dead people are gone. Now we just have to wait and see if we can ride out the storm. Godspeed, Kibstopia. This will be our finest hour. Okay, and you know what, surprisingly, that worked almost immediately. Hardly went negative, went to the positive real quick, population is bouncing right back. Okay. Thank goodness, I haven't had a death wave like that in a long, long time. Usually they can kill off an entire city, which is usually what happened to me in earlier playthroughs. But no, we're good, because we're so established. Oh my gosh, and you know what, actually? Everyone dying? was really a good thing because now all the new people coming in are uneducated and they're going through our education system and going to our new university meaning it can level up extremely easily so you know what everyone dying was a good thing good 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 you see it was all part of the plan well not really I have a auto budget mod that went haywire when the new update came out and that's what caused the death wave but we'll just say it's all part of the plan, right? Yeah. Anyway though, that means we can get right to our new campus here. And also, you guys gave me a great name suggestion for the liberal arts campus. The Kibitsu University. It stands for Kinesiology, International Business, Industry Tech, and Zoology University. Or Kibitsu for short. And that sounds so artsy, right? Right. And it looks like we're just about to level up here as well, so we'll quickly do that. And there we go! Kibitsu 
has leveled up. Two new academic works, 309 students, campus attractiveness up 40 points, and we are now an acclaimed university. And now we've unlocked the auditorium, bookstore, and laboratories to add on to our campus. We also have sponsorship deals, nifty, we won a trophy, made a movie, and we wrote a book, The Color Blue. Sounds like a good read. Anyway though, where do we have to go next? 1,800 students beca to become like the next level? Oh my gosh, we need to make our campus even more attractive? Really? Okay, well number one, let's bring that all the way up. Let's give some money for music. Let's get some policies in here. Visiting scholars, da -de -de da We're gonna get the fan club. Sponsorship deals, oh I don't even know what that does. Uh, upkeep cost minus an 8%, and billboard change from varsity team logo to sponsor's brand. Oh, what is that, what is that supposed to mean? This is changing? I don't know. Interesting. I guess we'll just leave it for now then. Also, speaking of change, the Kibitsu Buccaneers not really working out. I think the Kibitsu Broncos kind of fits a bit better. And we're going to make the team color red. And that's because our whole campus here is mainly red, so it's like, why not have our team color be red? Oh wait, does the background color not change? Oh, that's why we don't have it be red. What else would look good then? Green? No. White? Sure, we'll just be white. And our varsity team isn't the only thing that's gonna be changing. I'm gonna be changing around the whole campus because you guys are telling me that all of these buildings don't have to go into roads. They can just go onto pathways. So for example, if I just made, yeah, I can just use this one here. If I just did that, and then go to the new university tab, look at this, you can just have buildings along that path. Of course, they're all so big, it's kind of hard to fit them in here. Is there no, there's like a club building, right? There we go. But you see what I mean? They all kind of snap to the pathways like that. So we can do that with everything here. And it's going to make our university look a lot nicer. Gets rid of a lot of the uh, chaos. So yeah, this is going to be a huge redesign because that kind of fundamentally changes everything. But that's okay because a lot of these buildings are huge. And I was planning on having all of the, uh, what are they, the dormitories along the bottom of this terrace here. But that's where we have the most space, so it would make a little bit more sense to have those dormitories maybe on the middle level? I'm not sure, but we're gonna be changing things up. It really depends on the new things we have here. Like we have the bookstore now, how big is that? Oh, now that's reasonable! Please Louise, so many buildings are like this one, it's like a billion squares, tiles, or whatever long and big. But yeah, that can definitely work out. Definitely not there though. You know what, I think that's a pretty good spot actually. And then we could have this entire area kind of be like the freshman area. Alright, and there we go! Just did a little bit of a basic first pass here. We have the nice community square, the bookstore up in front, the cafeteria if you want to head over there, grab a bite to eat, and a couple club buildings behind here, dormitories. And I've added in a couple of the other park assets from... I think this is the default game now? Park Life DLC? That's it. Yeah. So like the park cafe and some washrooms. And that kind of jazz. I think though... Oh, is this one gonna say it needs to be... Next to a path? But it is. Oh, it needs to be inside a park area. Okay, never mind. That's okay then. We can just get rid of that. Because this is kind of like just a basic setup. Like ideally I'd like to keep things this way, but as we develop the university campus a little bit more, it might have to change. Anyway though, we do have some other new buildings. We have an auditorium. That's kind of neat. Where should we have an auditorium? Huh. I don't know. Well this is kind of like becoming like the central square, at least for like people chilling out. So I guess we could have one here. Yeah, we could have it like over here. And how does it look? 
Is this like the actual proper entrance? Does this work? Yeah, this works. Is that the, supposed to be the entrance? No, it's saying this is supposed to be the entrance. Well, that's dumb. This looks like the entrance. I like it facing this way. So you know what? We're gonna have it face this way. And we're just gonna put down a couple buildings like this over on this side. All right, so there we go. That looks good, right? Then we could have another like little square up in the front here. Like if we just made another path going this way. There we go. Is that enough room for a square? We can make it enough room. <laughs> Aha! There we go. This is just from the Park Life DLC. That looks really good. Makes this look like the entrance, and I like the cool little blue things going on there. Cool 80s vibe right there, man. And beside the auditorium, we're just gonna have a... Uh, what is this one? Oh yes, a uh, gymnasium. Because they're both pretty loud places, right? Kind of makes sense. All right, and then I just filled in the rest of the area with some more student housing and paths, and there you go. Oh my goodness, though. Knowing that the buildings can attach to paths is just changing up the game, man. Changing up the game makes things so much easier. I can have the building so much more compact together. It's looking great. It's looking amazing. And we still have one more new building. The Arts Laboratories. So let me guess, this one's gonna be massive? Of course it's gonna be massive. Oh, I knew it. Okay, where will the laboratories be? I guess they're gonna just be right here. Seems to make sense. Let's just put it down and take a look. So what do we got? Oh my god. Oh my god. That building is beautiful. Wow. Oh, dude. I love the curve. I love how it has a parking lot, the little garden in the middle. Now that, that is a nice building. It's very modern though, eh? Like we have some of the classical buildings in here. The extremely classical kind of buildings like these ones. They look almost Venetian. And then we have to mix it with the modern here? Oh my goodness, I should have had an arts degree before I started making an arts campus. Oh man, what are we gonna do with that? Actually, I know exactly what we're gonna do with that. We are going to move this over here. Come on, I know you can move here. Are you not gonna play nice? It's not gonna play nice, guys. Then we're gonna have to move it. Whoop. Right over here. Since this building is so modern, it's gonna go beside this other modern building. Yeah? Sure. How's the entrance to this one look? Eh, it's pretty boring. Be nice to have this one up front. Somewhere like here. Can you like go? Thank you. That's okay. Ah oh, man. Mm. Maybe you could use a little bit more fiddling actually. Aha! There it is. The 1000 IQ play. We put them back to back because the back of this building is hideous. And we needed something forward facing onto this fountain here. So look at that. Best of both worlds. We're just left with a weird pizza slice, but guess what? We just litter that with trees, and it's gonna be fine. In fact, pretty much every open space is gonna be littered with trees, so ooh, it's gonna look a lot better then. For now though, we just have more buildings to deal with. Oh man, and a lot of people need to go to university right now. That's crazy, very, very crazy. And also, oh hey, look at that. We're actually good. Those are the new buildings we had unlocked. So now it's going to be more of redesigning a lot of the campus. Because yeah, things can look so much better knowing that we can just attach buildings to walking paths. And then after that, we're going to have to wait a little while before we can level up because destroying all the student housing to redecorate has kind of ruined our numbers right now. But we'll get back there in no time. Well, I was wrong. It actually did take a little bit of time. Uh, it's been two academic years now because I didn't get it on the first year. And now we are about to become a prestigious university. And in all the time I was waiting, I pretty much did all of the decorating, at least most of it. 
So we have tons of trees in. I went through things with a comb and just added in the flowers and the benches and just all the little things, you know? Make the place appealing. Oh, and a cable car. Just to get people from down here up to the top of the mountain. Where we have our admin building, a couple study halls, our graduation ceremony place. Oh, look at that. They're throwing their hats already. It's a week until graduation, people. Settle down. Absolute rascals. You guys have no idea what you're in for after you're done here. And then, yeah, up here is all done too. Got some horses in there. Just to add a little splash of color and... Whew, we are ready to finish this bad boy off. And that is all we needed. Our academic year report. So, Kibitsu is now a prestigious university. And now, what does having a prestigious university unlock us? A dance club. Yep, because now that we've achieved our goal, time to party. <laughs> of course. We have another statue. We have a media lab. School of Economics. Mm, my jam. I love economics. And an art gallery. An art gallery. We'll have to look into that. I'm not sure what's up with that. Got a swimming trophy. Wrote some books. Made a movie. And we've done it. Alrighty. What do we have? What do we have? Let's make the dance club. That's like number one. So dance club. Oh, it's not like an actual party building, but it's actually like where people practice dancing. Lame. But hey, whatever makes the students happy, right? And then we have a media lab. Oh, and here we go. Now we're getting into the larger buildings. But I do have a decent spot for it. At least I'm going to make room for it. It's right in here. We have the gymnasium. We have a couple of student campus buildings or dormitories. That's what they're called. And we're going to squeeze it in here. I guess we're just going to move the road up. We'll move this down. And eventually we make it work. And that's a really nice building. I like this. It's like a wood texture on the side. And yeah, with a little tidying up, it fits right in. Almost. It kind of has the same problem as, what was that other building? This one. The Liberal Arts Laboratories. It has the different roof. And it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of awkward here. It's like, this is 80s. This is just so weird it'll fit in whatever. This is like old Venetian type stuff. And then this is like early 2000s kind of architecture. So like, although it fits there, I think we're actually moving that. We're actually going to put it right here. Essentially front and center of the whole campus. Just because we have a decent chunk of space and we need to fill it with something. So this, I guess this will work. You know, it could fit in with the bus loop little area here. So could we get that tucked in close? Maybe? Yes, we absolutely can. Yep, I'm okay with that. Then also we have a new statue. A new liberal art statue. What does it look like? Just a guy? Or a person? Who that? It's like a person just in a square. Okay. Let's get out of the view thing. Thank you very much. And I don't know where to put that, to be honest. Where would it fit? We have this area. That could be a park. Could we fit it up in here? Yeah, we could put it actually just right there. I think that'll be fine. And then there's the other statue, and we can have that on the other side. So it's like a yin and yang type dealio. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Just have that statue on this side, and the other round spherical thing on the other. And I'll detail the rest a little later on. Because we have our final building to place down. The School of Economics. Through innovative budget planning and tax management, Students from School of Economics help the local office zones increase revenue 
without upsetting the city's populace. Is that right? So we just get more money for building it. What a lovely building. How big is it? What the heck is going on with the back end? Okay, this one is looking a little weird. What on earth? It kind of looks like the US Federal Reserve and a prison for the insane. <laughs> yep, that's a, that's a school of economics for you. Okay, so I guess this is like a lecture hall. This is where like little classrooms are. Very strange. And of course, they just had to include a green roof just right there. Because, you know, it made economic sense. And to be perfectly honest, a building like this, I don't think will ever fit into this deal we have here. Like, it is just radically different. Radically. Can we place this in other school zones? Like, what if we had this over here? Where we're gonna have like a kind of default university area. Wrong area type? Are you for real, man? Really? Hmm. Could we fit it in here then? No, again, I don't want it on this hill. It just does not work there. This area is way too casual. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. You're gonna be a feisty one, aren't you? And actually, super quick, here's the thought. What if we just put down a new campus area? We built another admin building. Oh. And I was gonna say, maybe we could just make a whole specific area in the city for that one building, but we can only have the one admin building. I see, I see. They thought of everything, didn't they? So we're gonna be doing something kind of radical here. We're giving the School of Economics its own terrace right down here because it is not going in this little small town nonsense. It's not going with all the crazy art kids. It's going right here in its own special area, overlooking the city. Now, right now, it's overlooking, get out of here. It's overlooking uh, just a little suburb, but we're gonna transform all of this into high rises in a main, like, hub of the city, just so this one school has good view. So yeah, you could say I'm favoring the economics people a little bit, and you'd be absolutely right, because economics is the best. And they deserve the best. But with that, we have all of the buildings placed down for the Liberal Arts College. And now, we just have to finish off the design here, make things all top-notch and pretty, fill in a few gaps, and then... We're done! Well, there it is. All the detailing is done. Our first campus, guys, is complete. So, right at the entrance, we have a nice statue, little sitting area, cafeteria, just a nice little area in here. And tucked in the woods, a little groundskeeper's building. Thought that looked kind of neat. And, oh my goodness, the School of Economics looking distinguished. Has the cool modern art there, the tables, the parking lots, the efficient sidewalks. Oh yeah. And then this we'll get to a little later on, making it look beautiful. Ooh, man oh man, I would love to go to this school. My goodness. Anyway, as for the rest of things, all the trees are put in, little details here and there for bus stops. I added in more bus stops actually, so now people can either take bikes everywhere, or they can just take like buses that are looping around pretty much every layer of the university. And then with all the curvy roads going up, I just added in a thin layer of trees that kind of ties out by the end here, just to give it a better aesthetic appeal. Oh, that looks so cool. Uh, some open green space here, just with some pink trees, kind of mix it up a bit. It's a little, it's like really busy, right? So just some open green space is always nice. And then yeah, Little details all over the place. And overall, I am extremely pleased with how our first campus turned out. 
And honestly, I can't wait to get started on the next ones, where they're actually going to be like properly organized on like grids and patterns and oh, it's going to be so much easier than the whole wild pattern we got going on here. Let me tell ya. Anyway though guys, that's going to be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.